full time in this van and we do not travel and we do not work from home. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I feel like that's not very common because people think that it'll be really difficult. Like you have to have remote work to live in a van and that's not true. It's actually kind of easy and I'm gonna show you. into a really nice routine where a few times a week we'll park on the other side of the forest from Lewis's work so then you get this nice wee walk through the forest first thing in the morning. Listen to the birds and the dogs. <laughs> Preferably the uh, birds than the dogs. <laughs> Business mode engaged. Yeah maybe. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. So it is at this point in the day where the plans will diverge and either I will stay home, stay van and do uni work and van activities or I will head off to work. Good boy. Good boys. I'll see you at lunchtime. Got Cool transition and not almost a terrible accident. <laughs> As you will have just seen, I work for Costa, represent, and Lewis works in sales. So he works nine to five, Monday, Friday, in an office. Because the van is the house and the transport, we basically can't work separate shifts. I got quite a few different job offers in the time that I was job seeking and ultimately they either retracted them or I had to turn them down because the hours just would not fit with the schedule. For me personally that's the biggest hurdle I've come across with working while living in a van. to be sent out hopefully this week and until then luckily this laundry room has some plugs so I can plug it in and get some get some juice going. We do washing probably like once a week once every 10 days and it is literally only Lewis's shirts that get ironed I am not I'm not about ironing anything else. <laughs> We installed a hook on the back of our curtain rod so that we can hang all of Lewis's like suits and stuff in suit bags. Keeps all the uh, dog hairs away from them. <laughs> They've lost a lot of their crispiness at the bottom, but Lewis tucks his shirts into his trousers, so no worries. <laughs> I want to ask Lewis his opinion on um, working full-time office job while living in a van. Opinion. Um, it works so far, but I've got a very helpful helper 
and Kirsty. I think that anyone else wanting to try it on their own might have a bit more difficulties. Because you were much more hesitant than I was moving into the van and working full time. That's what I was more worried about, was like every night we were gonna have to get moved along and mm. like find somewhere else. But then since moving down here, we spent six weeks in the gym car park. After that, we've we found like quite a few other spots where we feel relatively welcomed. That was like a major concern for me. Also keeping stuff clean. Mm. I think I've just, <laughs> yeah, just got, I think I've just stopped caring. If anyone's thinking about working an office job, and living in a van, I'd say definitely go for it. Especially if you can go and get like a, a city wage, then you're winning because you, you've, you're not spending any money on rent. Very easy way to save up money. Go do it. <laughs> yeah, <Yes>. hopefully <laughs> there'll be other people living in the van working an office job, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> I know. Why does no one else do this? I am, I am it's the, totally fine. I'm the van, the van guy at work. <laughs> yeah. Was the light weird uh, on your face that whole time? I think so, yeah. Pretend like there was a suit one before that, I just forgot to film it. <laughs> Lewis is gonna wait off to the gym at this point. I would sometimes often go with him, but uh, I've been very busy today and I'm very tired. <laughs> I can't be bothered. And I'm definitely. Every now and then. Yeah. I'm, Every now and then you come for a sauna. You come for a sauna and a shower. <laughs> but yeah, he'll go and shower at the gym. I don't mind being a bit stinkier, so I'll wait another day before I shower. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, YouTube. Bye, Lewis hot fucking tip when you're staying in like car parks and stuff that you're not actually going to be like staying staying in so like we're in Aldi car park right now set a timer so that you don't get a ticket because we've been stung by that many a time set a fucking timer loading So I'll cook three portions for dinner and then box one up for Lewis to take to work with him the next day. So then that way it saves us tons of time in the morning. He doesn't need to make his lunch before he goes to work because it's already made. Thank y'all. Thank you. You're welcome. I know why she's calling. We will now just chill out for a little bit and drive up to where we're gonna park for the evening, which is gonna be the pub. I hope that you've enjoyed this and you've realized that actually working full time in a non-remote job is totally chilling in a van. It's totally right? doable. Totally chilling. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, love you guys very much. See you next week. Bye.